Alright guys, back at it again with a semi-quick tutorial. It's about uh, how to duck your beat behind your vocals. As you can tell right now, uh, the vocals aren't really cutting through the mix. I'll play it right now. Okay, you and dab and it won't move. Las redes se caen y empieza. Y a mí no me faltan destreza. So they're decently cutting through the, the mix because they're compressed correctly. But it could be better. So basically, I went over this in my last tutorial, but it was towards the end and it was just kind of a side note. So I'll go over it again today. So basically what you want to do is you want to get your vocals compressed and everything just without reverb. So you want to turn reverb off. And then in FL Studio 20, I have 20.9, the newest release. You want to hold Control, Alt, and C, and it will bring up this rendering uh, box. And you want to disable master effects just in case you have any. And you want to click Start and that will render it into the playlist. So it will, once it's rendered, it will give you this little track and all your vocals will be muted. So you wanna click this audio button up here with X and you wanna hold shift and just click and drag over all your selected audio clips. And then everything will be enabled again. So after this, what you wanna do is you want to, I like to turn this up a little bit if it's too quiet, I don't know. Um, it works sometimes but so basically this track is going to be your signal and what you want to do is you want to select a track somewhere in your mixer buses and call it signal for this one i have it on six and you also want to link your beat to a track and i have that on five and five you just kind of leave alone obviously i have a, a couple um effects right here but it's for the actual beat because it's just a straight through beat and it needed some effects um but for your signal so this uh track that you just rendered out it's linked to the signal track what you want to do is you want to it's going to be like this where it's linked to the master you want to unlink it from the master and link it to beat and you want to turn it all the way down it's going to be like this you want to turn it all the way down this little green knob right here and once that's done you're basically done with the signal bus and what you want to do is you want to go to beat and you want to go to any of the slots and you want to pull up patcher and patcher is basically just like a plugin where you can make other plugins in and it has a huge selection of just a bunch of plugins that you can use the one we're going to use today is called multi-band sidechain because what you're basically doing with ducking the beat behind the vocals is you're compressing and you're side chaining the vocals from the beat like you're side chaining the sort of like how when you sidechain kicks that's basically what you're doing so it's gonna load up on surface here and you want to go to map right here this tab and right here this arrow thing you want to right click go to outputs go to audio and select signal and that's going to create another uh loop right here that you can click and drag and connect to where it says connect sidechain here and you want to go back to your surface and you can edit this knob release doesn't really do anything you don't want to mess with the low cut and the high cut all you really want to work with is a side chain knob and when you play it, uh, it nothing's going to happen because you haven't turned up the knob. Uh, you want to turn back, turn on your reverb again and hold on. I didn't connect my, my side chain to the track or my signal to the track. So you want to do that. As you can tell, it's still not cutting through the mix. So you want to go to your patcher and you want to turn this up. I'll give you a demo on what the actual uh, patcher plugin thing does and I'll play it and I'll mess with this knob. As you can tell when it's all the way up, it kind of mutes it and uh, muffles it. So you want to just find a good medium for where your vocals are at because it only side chains it in specific frequencies. So I like to have it about right here. So I like to have it around 33% so like 25 to 33% maybe sometimes a little bit more depending on the genre. But yeah, that's basically it. So if you have your mixer bus already set and uh, you have everything you need, basically you're done. Yeah. So that's the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys mix better and have better mixes. And uh, yeah, you can do everything out of FL Studio. You don't really need any ex like extra plugins. Hopefully this was quick enough. I'll work on the speed of, you know, my tutorials, but yep.